Hello everyone, this is TJ Game. This is the 13th part, I believe, of our game tutorial. And as requested, I've decided to uh, create a object highlight. So when you hover your mouse cursor over an object, it comes with the name, and also you can change the colour of the object you're pointing at. Now, as you remember in our tutorial, we had our main menu done, and uh, in this one, we basically had a simple scene set up. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a crate in the middle, and we're just going to test it out on a crate first, and then maybe a cylinder, and just show you that it highlights any object with a script attached. So the first thing you want to do is create a new script, C sharp, called Object Highlight. And open it up in either Mono Behavior or Visual Studio. I am currently using Visual Visual Studio, I believe. There we go. Right, in this script, uh, we're going to need something to cache a name and the standard material color. So what we want to do is first uh, let's add the let's add the GUI skin, and then we want to cache the color of our object so that we can easily return to it. And what we want to do is create a private variable and it's going to be a color and then just call it something mine's going to be start color I'm from England so I'm going to put that <laughs> start color and we also want to cache the name as well so we want to put it as public string and we're going to call it object name and we also want to create a ball, so I'm going to create this private and call it underscore display object name. And I'm going to start it as false for now. Right, with that done, uh, we don't need this. What we will need, however, is the void on GUI function and also we are going to need the void on mouse enter we've never used this one before what it basically means is this function here triggers when the mouse cursor basically hovers over the object and then similar to that is a void on mouse exit and in the on GUI you want to put GUI.skin equals game skin which had before oh I didn't that's a capital. Really should. There we go. And then we want to create another function called public void, and then we're going to call it display name. And then what we're going to do is copy this and put it in the on GUI command. Now that done, we need to go to the on mouse enter. And now we need to create all the gubbins to create the whole highlight of the effect. So what we want to do is put start color is equal to renderer dot material dot color. So we need to put. So what we're doing 
is on the mouse enter we've set the start colour to be equal to the render material colour. Basically that's the material colour of the object as it is at the moment before we highlight it. Now what we do is we want to put renderer dot color uh, oh sorry material color and we're gonna equal to color dot uh, you have a list of colors here you can choose between them I am gonna do blue because I like blue and then what we want to do is set underscore display object name to equal true currently there is no name we've not set up a name or anything but we'll do that in the display name down here I'm just getting all the functions out of the way first uh, on the on, on and mouse enter and on mouse exit functions so the start colour sets it the start colour to equal the material render colour then, then the material render colour is equal to blue is what we set here. You can choose pretty much any colour you want, yellow, green, red, doesn't matter, it's whatever colour you need. And then we just set this spell object name to true. Now on mouse exit, this one's slightly simpler, I'll be honest. We'll do is renderer dot material dot colour is equal to start colour. So we're changing the material render colour back to is default value and then we want to put display object name equals false that's all you need to do for that one and then with that done we need to create uh, the display name and I was thinking about this and the display name I want to follow the mouse cursor as long as the mouse cursor is on top of the object so the name will follow the mouse cursor in a box so what I want to do is in here you want to put an if statement <coughs> underscore display object name equals true or you could just leave it as equals equals true sorry or you could just leave it as or you could just delete this equals true that as standard that is true technically so you can leave it as that but I put equals equals true basically for tutorial purposes. Now you want to do is you basically want to create what displays when the, the, what the name contains like a box and the names in the box and it uses the same font as a GUI skin and all that stuff. So what I want to do is I do a GUI dot box as a new rect And then we're going to do, <coughs> sorry, we're going to do something different here, which I've not done before either. Um, what we're going to do is an event dot current dot mouse position dot x. And then we're going to have the box is going to be, I think, 150 wide so it can accompany many size names so I am going to do it 5 pixels from uh, from the cursor so I'm going to put 155 here and then I'm going to do event dot current dot mouse position dot y and then I'm going to put I'm gonna leave that as is because I don't need to move that. Uh, I don't need to move that any. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up how big the box is. So I'm gonna put 150 and I'm gonna put it as 25. I don't see it need to be any bigger than that. And then what we need to do is no, yeah. Now what we need to do is the object name so object name object name 
and then your GUI skin. Uh, I'm gonna have to have a look actually. Oh, what's what is it? Game skin. We've got a box two star. What's box one? Hmm. I think box two will be good. So use box two style. So I want to put it as exactly the name in the GUI skin. So the game skin. So it's going to be called box two style. So box two style. Yep, that's how it's done. And close the parentheses. And that is done. So what this basically is is the event current mouse position. It tracks the current position of the mouse at the x-axis, and then minus is 155, so it will be on the right-hand side of the mouse. If I were to plus, it will be on the left-hand side. Event current mouse position y tracks the y position of the mouse. Because I am not moving the box anywhere on the y axis on the mouse it's going to be normal y position on the mouse and then I'm just going to set it 100, 150 for the width of the box and 25 for the height and this is what's going to contain inside the box so the object name and then the box to style so now what I want to do is actually want to make sure box to style has that's upper center I'm going to put middle center see what happens well, that didn't change much, that's good. So, <coughs> with middle center done, what I want to do now is want to create a, a box pretty much. So, I'm going to put create other cube. Put it in the sun a bit and align it how we want. I'll put it there, that should be alright, and then I'll rotate it a bit. I uh, could do with another texture actually, so what I'm going to do is City Builder, I know I've got it in here. Great, there we go. Textures. Yeah, I'm using Windows 10 at the moment, so. There we go. We have, a we have a cube there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to drag the object highlight script onto it, and now give it a name. I'm going to call it create create because I'm not really great on naming things. I'll be honest. So put your GUI skin on there. And when you click play, if all goes well, when you hover over it, you'll see create in a highlight blue. Yeah, sorry, minus is the left, plus is the right. Yeah. So when you click play, hover over it, it will say create. But if you want a better colour, change your colour, uh, you can easily change it here. And put green. Save that off. Go back to the scene. And then we'll click play. Hover over it, goes green, and the name shows create. Now what I want to do is create another one. Uh, what could I use? I use a sphere. Yeah. And I put it down here and in there. There we go. It's slightly, slightly uh, hidden by the grass. I'm gonna put the script on that one as well. I'm going to hit game skin, move it over, Whoop, if I did that right. And then we're going to give it a name. I'm going to call it Friendly. I know it's not really, a, actually I'll call it Fred. Too early in the morning. Fred. Then click play. Never hover over it. Fred. And hover over this way it says create. So I'm 
hover over and the whole time I'm on it it will follow my mouse and same with Fred so I'll be thank you all for watching my next tutorial will be an achievement system which will incorporate into the main menu and uh, I'll see you next time thank you for watching goodbye